let's dig into TMAO. So the first thing that I wanted to start with is just background on what TMAO is and why the mainstream media and press is concerned about it. So chemicals like carnitine and choline, I will talk about those in a moment, I would say they are essential parts of human biology, very important nutrients for humans in general. These are contained in things like milk, cheese, eggs, organs, meat, well, all of the foods that I'm a huge fan of. They go into your body here. They have kind of an obese person. There's a little bit of perhaps subliminal messaging there. I would uh, redraw that person to have six-pack abs, nice pecs, a good tan, and maybe some sun-bleached hair. Uh, maybe they're a surfer, maybe they're just a rock climber, maybe they're just uh, a very healthy individual if they're eating all those foods. Uh, nevertheless, the, the association is not lost on me here. It is true that these compounds, carnitine and choline, get metabolized by gut microbiota and eventually form a compound called, called trimethylamine, which is then metabolized via an enzyme in the liver called FMO, uh, flavin monooxygenase, into trimethylamine oxide. Now, if you see this graphical abstract on the video, you'll see that the last part of this is that they are drawing direct arrows between TMAO causing heart failure, chronic kidney disease, heart attack, and stroke. This is where I really start to get angry, frankly, because that association, that is an association only. That is not causal. I am not familiar with a single study in humans, and I will repeat that. I am not familiar with a single study in humans showing the TMAO causes any of those things. And yet in all of the literature I can find, well, that's not true. In 98% of the literature I can find, that is treated as if it is fact, as if it is canon, as if it is a truism. And that is very frustrating to me when the majority of the literature will not substantiate that causal link between TMAO and any of those things. And as you will see in this discussion, there's actually much evidence for reverse causality here, which means TMAO isn't doing that at all. But many of the studies will suggest that, that we know that, that that is clear, that TMAO is causing those problems, when in fact, what is actually represented in the literature is a correlation between TMAO and things like heart attack, stroke, or kidney failure, et cetera. So that is a really important thing, and that is even more important to talk about uh, in light of the first study that I mentioned today, which was observational, the fact that you cannot draw causative inference from observational studies. We should not be doing that, but all of the TMAO literature does that. So if you hear someone say, TMAO causes problems in humans, whether it's heart disease, stroke, diabetes, or kidney disease, turn your ass around and walk the other direction because they do not know what they're talking about. If you guys can send me or find a single study that is interventional, that shows TMAO is harmful for humans, I will change this perspective and do a new podcast and say, wow, that's actually interesting, but I don't think it is. And I'll tell you why. And I think all of the people that are out there touting and saying that it is harmful need to do the same thing. They need to promise you the same, that when they listen to this podcast or when they realize that they are dead wrong, that they will admit they were wrong and turn tail with their tail between their legs and get out of Dodge because we do not need their bullshit nutritional ideology muddying the waters.